Hi everybody, I'm going to uh, respond to a recent question which I'm going to video respond to in the form and make it a request about my Dior lipsticks um, and my Dior lip collection. Now surprisingly, I'm going to count right here, eight, ten, I only have about 13 pieces in my Dior collection, which is surprising to me mainly because I'm a huge Dior fan. So the fact that I don't have more is kind of strange, but I'm doing this video in response to a comment um, on my makeup basket from Cindy CS88. So Cindy, this is for you. Um, you may be a little angry at me after this video because I'm going to give you a lot of options um, as far as colors and formulas from the Dior uh, lip product group. Um, now basically I've broken mine down into, I think there's four different sections. I, well, there's lipstick and gloss, and then there's also lip polish. Within the lipsticks I have the uh, Rouge Dior, I have the Dior Addict lipsticks, the Dior Addict Extreme lipsticks, and the Dior Addict Ultra Gloss, and I also have one Diorific, which was from the holiday collection. So I'll get started. All I'm going to do is go over each group and then just show you the colors I have. Um, so we'll start with Rouge Dior. First off, I'm going to show you 976, which is Daisy Plum, which was in my last um, makeup basket. This is a beautiful color. And the reason I am I really am kind of moving towards, well, I did move towards Rouge Dior, is strictly because of the staying power. These stay on a little bit better, for me anyway, than the uh, Addict lipsticks. So there it is. It does have some gold kind of flecks in it but it's not incredibly obnoxious, and I wouldn't call it a frost, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but it's a good everyday color. The next one is 448 Tulip Pink. So this is a good choice also um, for spring. It's a pretty standard pink, so I'm just gonna swatch kind of one after the other. So there's um, the pink, the Tulip Pink, and that's a pretty color, um, especially when you have a tan or you have some sun, or you have light skin like I do. Next is uh, Rouge Your Nude 683, E-S-Q-U-I-S-S-E, -S -S -E. can't say it. I'm wearing this today, and normally I don't have anything to do with nudes, but I don't really consider this a nude. To me, it still has some kind of, I don't know, it's not nude to me, and I really enjoy it. Um, it's a good, it's a good everyday color. It's still got some pink tones in it to me. See, it's a little bit darker than that uh, tulip, but uh, still wearable, very wearable. And then finally, I think this is devilish, 678 devilish pink, which is my wild child of the Rouge Dior colors. So this is definitely, you know, my, hey, I'm going out after work color. I have an event color. So it's pretty, it's beautiful pink. All right, so that's it for the Rouge Dior's. Now my special edition um, lipstick is a Diorific from Holiday, which is just, it, it's red. It's red. It's red, and it has somewhat of a um, matte finish, but it still feels pretty good um, on the lips, which I really like. So I don't know if you can find this anymore. If you can, I do recommend it if you're on the hunt for a red lipstick. This will, this is great because of the finish. Um, it's still pretty hydrating on the lips and it stays on. So all thumbs up, all pluses in my book. Then um, I have the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. This one's pink. I believe they had a coral version. Didn't get that one. This is the one that turns, um, kind of turns color according to um, your lip color. So in my case, um, and it, you know, obviously if it's the pink version, it'll go to a, a pink. You can barely see that there, but there it is. So it's pink gloss and that's what you see like kind of happens to it. Um, I don't have much left of this. I did, I do like it, um, but I'm leaning more towards the lip polishes lately, which I'm going to, <gasps> I don't think I have my lip polish here. My lip polish is in my bag. The lip polish is something I've talked about recently, and I like the lip polish because the lip polish 
has a brush, has, a, has an applicator that actually turns. So you basically roll it on and it fills in all your um, lines and ridges so that when you do apply your lipstick, it goes on like perfectly, pretty much perfectly. It looks like your lips are full, they're hydrated, and I don't have it with me. I have the pink version. They also have a peach version, which I'm going to pick up uh, this coming Friday because I'm attending a, a workshop. Um, at the Dior in Toronto that I visit quite frequently. So that'll be really exciting. Next, um, my only Dior Addict Extreme lipstick. It's 339 Silhouette. I got this one after one of the Dior artists um, used it on me when he did my face. This is a great, again, a great every, like, everyday lipstick. If you don't want to go crazy, if you just want something that's there, that has the color, there it is. And as you can see, these are a lot more sheer. They're very hydrating. Um, but if you're looking for something long wear, you're either going to have to, well, for me, this isn't long wear. I take this with me and I'll reapply it. It lasts a couple hours, but it's not like the Rouge Dior. Like this will get me serious wear. This is great for when your lips are dry, but you will be reapplying it. But it's got, got nice color payoff. And if you're not a huge fan of like very pigmented, solid lips, then you'd want to go with something like this because this will still let your lips kind of come through. It'll give you the color, but it'll let your lips come through. If that even makes any sense. Now I've got my Dior Addict lipsticks, number 687 ES. P-I-E gel G-L-E. This is the one I raved about in my last makeup basket from the Sherry Bow 2013 Spring Collection from Dior. I adore this. I put this on really, you know, I put wear this pretty heavy, but it's just this beautiful pink. It reminds me of spring flowers that are just popping up, kind of like a crocus. You know, right after the snow, they just come up. That's what this is, and it's beautiful. Highly, highly recommend it if you can still get it. When I went to my counter last week, it was not there. So if you can still get it, get it. Again, it's 687, and I'll write all these down below so you don't have to remember them all. Next, uh, wait, 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 wait. So this is not the same one, is it? No, that's something else. I'm like not moving these over far enough. Uh, 544 Jet Set. This is a beautiful color. If you like a coral with gold kind of undertones, it's very, very pretty. Again, beautiful for spring. Um, it's just enough. So gorgeous. This is like your brunch color or your running through the park uh, color. It's it's beautiful, I love it. And finally, my Dior um, Addict Gloss, Ultra Gloss. Uh, this is 464, here it is. It's pink. All of my glosses have um, shimmer in them. That's how I like my glosses. I like that effect with the glosses and um, I don't have any of the cream glosses. So if you're looking for the cream glosses, they do make a, a good uh, cream gloss. There it is right there. You're not probably not gonna be able to see it. So here it is. We'll do that instead. They do make a good cream gloss. I'm just not into cream glosses. I probably will be going through some kind of cream gloss phase at some point in my life. It's just not happening right now. Then number 576, this is an ultra gloss pearl. So again, this one has more kind of gold shimmer in it. This one has more silver toned shimmer in it. So here it is. So it's a little bit brighter, very pretty. And you know, I know I have another gloss. I just have to find it. I don't know where it is. Why am I whispering? Okay, and finally, uh, for now, uh, 582. That's my dog's automatic food dish. And this is a purple gloss with silver shimmer. So here it is. Go to there. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I really do want to swatch it for you. But with these, I find you have to do a pretty heavy swatch. But there it is on my wrist. I really like, if I was going to go, if I really had to choose a favorite out of these three, it would, it would be this purple one with this uh, bright pink one, a close second, and then finally followed by 
this one with the gold shimmers in it. I find this one to be a little too light for me, and I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm so pale, but it's true. Um, so this one would be my number one choice. And so far, there you have it. That is my Dior lip product collection. Um, I know I have more Dior lipsticks. Like I said, I just have to find them. They're in purses, they are scattered around the room. So that'll be something I'm focusing on today is cleaning up and making sure that everything's in order. Um, possibly looking at some new storage options. So Cindy, those are my Dior lip products. I can't say that I love one any more than the other. They're all great. There's different formulas and I recommend you go to your Dior counter locally. There's my dog and uh, check them out and see which one works for you. They will give you um, samples and are happy to uh, try them out and test them on you all the time. You know, so I hope you're having a great Monday. Today is what's called Family Day in Canada, so it's a statutory, aka mandatory holiday. So everyone's off, um, which I'm enjoying to be honest. So have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.